Jesus, when Papa Son comes back, they're coming back with him. <laughs> now here's why he needs us with him. Turning and shining. He doesn't have to start with us from scratch to get us burning and shining. And on his way to Jerusalem, he needs somebody already on fire, don't you see? Because he doesn't have time to strike matches and fool with sparks. He needs somebody that's already got the fire going. I got a little too fast for you there. Sorry about that. But he's burning wide open toward Jerusalem when he comes. He's already been pouring through us to the max and helping our max to grow a little more and take a little more fire. That's how he empowered the believing Jews in Israel, the Messianic. That's how they got the strength and the power to call him down and to call him back. We're going to have a body like his. We can be visible or invisible. Remember when he was on the road to Emmaus? He just popped up there with them. Then when they recognized him breaking of the bread, he was gone. Poof, he disappeared. That's what our body is going to be like. This mortal body got to be changed into a glorified body like his. That's what he's coming. Say, that's what he's coming to do with my body. I'm going to be changed and get a body like his. We'll burn on over in the glory and possess all his body characteristics. He will be living in us full force. Father will live in us because he and the Father are now one. Father will live in us through the resurrection fiery body of the Son by the Holy Spirit we will burn our body will burn in glory clean over in the first resurrection and there will be at the beginning of the thousand year changeover the thousand years on earth when he's changing ages we'll be here say I'll be here with the line of Judah's tribe with the holy one of Israel with the high priest of Israel shining with his light burning with his fire burns bright on the outside from the coal of fire on the inside from the sacrificed lamb of Papa God with his kingdom body fire but outside this kingdom body of resurrection fire Outside Yeshua's kingdom bubble, a different fire is burning. Stolen fire is burning. Fire stolen from our God. Our God who is an all-consuming fire. He consumes some in love. And He consumes some in judgment. Those outside this kingdom body of Yeshua Messiah are burning with a different fire. This is sulfur burning fire. It burns in the water 
of every cell of every disobedient human from within every cell of their body flaming fire unquenchable burns forever in this stolen fire are fire worms that never die never quit burning never quit eating Look at the goodness of my life overflowing to the obedient. Now turn and gaze at my severe judgment, casting rebels into hell, and then throwing them from hell, from Hades, from Gehenna, into the lake of fire forever, drowning all humans, that I did not create and recreate in the burning lake of suffering fire forever. Look out now, this day, one more time, I set before you life and death. Choose life that you may live with me forever. God, I choose you. I choose life. I choose Yeshua Messiah as my Lord, Savior, and Deliverer. I choose Yeshua Messiah's kingdom lifestyle. I choose the working of the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Most God, to join me with kingdom gatherings on truth, the foundation of truth, and the throne of justice and righteousness. I choose life. Now hear him say, Look, I am coming with clouds. Every eye will see me, including those who pierced me, and all the tribes of the land of Israel will mourn me. Yes, amen. I am the A and the Z, says the Lord, God of heaven's armies. I am the one who is, who was, and who is coming. John said, I came to be in the Spirit on the day of the Lord. I heard behind me a loud voice, like a trumpet, saying, write down what you see and send it to the Messianic communities. Send it to the kingdom assemblies. Send it to the kingdom gatherings. Send it to the kingdom quorums. Send it to my kingdom body in the earth. John said, when I turned around to see who was talking to me, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And among those candlesticks, there was somebody like a son of man. He was wearing a robe down to his feet and a gold band around his chest, his head and hair as white as wool, white like snow, white as snow, white like wool. His eyes are like a fiery flame. His feet are like burnished brass, refined, refined in a furnace, and his voice is like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand, he holds seven stars. And out of his mouth goes a sharp, double-edged sword. His face is shining like the sun in full strength. When I saw him, I fell down at his feet 
like a dead man. He put his right hand on me and said, John, don't be scared. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, yes. But now I am alive forever and ever and ever. And look what I got, John. I got the keys to death and hell. The stars in my right hand, they're the angels of the messianic communities. They're the messengers of my kingdom body. My kingdom assembly. My kingdom gathering. <laughs> the gold candlesticks are the messianic communities. Are the kingdom gatherings. Are the kingdom assemblies. I'm living in them, John. I'm living with them, John. I'm living among them, John. I'm working in them to raise the whole world from the dead. If the falling away of Israel, Paul said, was really the gathering in of the Gentiles and the Jews into one new man, the beginning of it. What is the ending of it going to be like? It'll be like the world raised from the dead, Paul said. And that's what Jesus said to John. You got a part? Say, Lord Yeshua, Messiah of Israel, King of the Jews. You know, this is the time of year. This is the time of the lights, Hanukkah. This is a time we celebrate the birth. We put lights on the Christmas trees. This is that time of year. We sing a song. Us Gentiles been singing that song ever since my 80 years started. Noel, Noel. Noel, Noel, born is the, what, king of, who? Is he king yet? What have you been doing? to make him king of Israel that we've been singing about for nigh on to a hundred years. Do it, Lord. I want a part and I want to fulfill my destiny in Jesus' name. And now, talking like my Father, who calls those things that be not as though they already had happened, I say I have already.